Oh my gosh, I can't believe I found this. I found this by complete coincidence and saw that you could interact with it. What is this? There's a button. It's green, so it's already pressed, I'm going to say. How is that chair not floating away? I mean, I guess it would technically be like a metal chair, which makes a lot more sense as to why it's not floating away. <gasps> I have the assistant manager key card. I can open this door. Sturdy marble. Yo, there's just sturdy marble floating here. What is this? <gasps> what the heck? Left elf charm. Idea. Sarah, Sarah's charm. Can I open? What did I just open? I opened something. Hold up, we're drown. We're we're gonna drown. Oh fuck, we're gonna drown. Oh, uh, hold up, I gotta go back out. I vastly underestimated how much time I had. I need to find a thing, or I'm dead. Oh, I think we're just dead. Like straight up, we're just dead. Please no, please no, please no, please no, please no. <gasps> Holy delicious oxygen. Holy shit, I thought we were dead. I have no time to look at Sarah's charm. Sarah's left charm at the moment. I have a lab to explore. Hopefully there's an air pocket somewhere in this lab, because that would be fantastic. Let's go back up. We'll go back over. We'll go over this way. I kind of need to be quick about this. So unfortunately, I don't have time to like... Look around a whole lot. Can I? Oh, cool. It's literally just blocked off. Well, hold up. Wait a minute. This doesn't help me a whole lot. What did I unlock? I unlocked something clearly. But what? I mean, obviously it's a door, but where is that door? I have no clue. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's much else here. Let me just swim back over this way to get some oxygen, and we'll look for that other spot that we just opened up. There we go, oxygen, cool. What is this charm? A pebble village gossip elf reaches for something to the right. It feels important. I mean, if you say so, I'll take your word for it. Can I eat underwater? The answer is somehow yes. I have eaten through my breathing tube. <laughs> I mean, obviously. I mean, honestly, eating through a tube, like, that is entirely a thing. But eating through a tube that you then breathe? Sounds a little bad to be doing. Little contradiction to your health and longevity. So we found, like, a cool thing. But it doesn't get us into the lab. <gasps> Pond Lab Hatch! I'm wrong! It is locked! I have found it, though. So that's a step in the right in the right direction. I just have to find more hatches and a way to unlock that hatch. I have to find out where the other thing is that we just unlocked. <sighs> and not get eaten by the fish! Holy shit! Hi! Let's try and not get eaten by the fish as we look for this other thing. Oh no, there's spiders everywhere. I mean, it's super cool now that we have the mobility and the gas mat, or the freaking oxygen mask, the gill tube thing. We can actually explore the bottom of this pond with relative confidence, I would say. Oh my god, hi. She. Jesus Christ, don't do that, you scary bastard. I said it once and I'll say it again. Water creatures are weird looking, dude. They really are. They're also quite fascinating. If you get down to it. I'm just gonna run away from these dudes because I don't actually need to fight them. And I feel like fighting them is just gonna waste our time. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, I have found the deepest recesses of the pond, and I don't know how I feel about them. Let's explore- <gasps> Okay, that little bit- Hold up, hold up, hold up. This T-Rex head legitimately made my heart, like, stop for a moment. Sunken T-Rex, can I s Against my better judgment, can I swim into your mouth? 
Rod and Stinger Spear. Hold up, wait, what? Uh, get rid of the moss. I don't need that. Give me that. Yo, there's just a spear in this thing's mouth. Where was the oxygen spot? Because I'm going to need that. It's right here. Can I take a gander at that? What is this? A moldy spear that was found in the depths of the pond. It's decaying pieces suggest it's been here for quite some time. All right, cool. Who was fighting the giant T-Rex is my question. Also, is there going to be sunken bone here? Ah! <gasps> Muddy scale. Well, good thing I have a sh uh, Where's the shovel? Good thing I have a shovel. Am I gonna find some bone? I have a fancy shovel, too. Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's a koi fish scale. Well, screw the web. Give me the koi fish scale, bro. I will gladly take the koi fish scale. Is there more of them? I wonder what the koi fish scales actually do. Oh, I have to dig it out. I mean, that makes sense. Don't ask me how the koi fish scales got down here and impacted with such... Ooh, raw science. And impacted with such a degree that they have to be dug out. Can I... Oh, shit. I gotta get some water. Or, <laughs> I gotta get some freaking oxygen, not water. I'm surrounded by water. Water's everywhere. Water's an easy thing. <gasps> Shit. Thank god these things freaking come by fast, dude. Um, there was one other thing. I'm still looking for, like, sunken bone. Sunken bone would be fantastic. Oh my god, what the hell is over there? Well, hold up, I got more scales to dig up. These are up. We have found it. Hold up, I want to take an actual look at this. Yo, look at that sunken bone, bro. Give me that. What for bone did that come from? I'm now marginally curious whose bone that was. And is there more around? Super happy I brought this water torch with me. This is super cool. Although I need some more oxygen again. So let's kind of see if we can find like maybe like one more sunken bone. Because I think I need like one more sunken bone and that's really it. I have found it. Cool. Well, I wish I explored just like a little bit longer. I could have probably made the freaking dagger that I would have needed. Hopefully I won't need it down here, but watch, we'll probably need it down here. I kind of want to go back now and just make that really quick. Just in case we do need it. Because I have a feeling we're going to. You know what? I'm going to do that. Hang on. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so it turns out there's a little more work involved in making the freaking bone dagger than I thought. I have to freaking wait for the... For some spider silk to finish processing. I don't feel like running all the way back to my base. But in the meantime... It gives us a chance to get, take a little gander at analyzing some new materials. Koi scale armor. And a koi scale chair. Oh my god, 50. Jesus. Let's analyze the sunken bone. See if we can get anything else from that. The answer is no. I kind of assume that. Oh, already know all the Black Ox stuff. Oh my gosh, no way. It's almost like we shouldn't have been up to the upper yard yet. Let's analyze this spear. See what this spear will get us. Nothing but raw science. You know what? That's perfectly fine. Oh my gosh, stop hitting the wrong thing. Let's go see if our spider silk is done. Oh, wait, what? I couldn't analyze that, could I? Hold up, wait, what? <gasps> the charm. Parn pond moss, tough gunk, right elf charm. Provides invincible attack and invincible shielding. Oh my god. Re a reunited pebble village gossip elf hug charm. A shrunken keepsake from Saratoli, from Saratoli. A powerful embrace combining the energy of both pieces in one. Dude, that sounds freaking fantastic. Sturdy shell. What are these? Trinkets. What? 
There are trinkets? Hold up. Combo attacks ca cause it to burst. Major threat, friendly fire defense up. Needle, charged shot damage. There are trinkets? Are these new or did I just never notice these before? These might be new, but then again, I might have just never noticed them before at the same time. Is this done? No, it's not done yet. Jesus Christ. If it had time for a snack. There we go. Alright, we should be able to make this now. Uh, where was it at? Here we go. Sunken bone. I can't... Ooh. Actually, no, I won't have enough sunken bone. Let's just craft the dagger. So now we have the sunken bone dagger. Where is it at? There it is. I don't need this. Whoopsie. I almost threw away my sunken bone dagger. Hold up. I don't need the stone dagger anymore. Look at that sharp little boy. Well, first things first, I know exactly where I want to use this horn. Yes, here it is. The bramble, the soggy roots. Preventing me from getting whatever this orb is. Which honestly, I'm pretty sure it's a milk molar, yep. Had a feeling it was a milk molar just by the glow since we've seen more milk molars now. There was also for all science over here. Yes, there it is. Some nice, delicious, free-floating raw science. And there's even more! Oh my gosh! Alright, now let's actually do this. Now that we are fully stocked up on all of our goodies, and we have all of our equipment, let's go ahead and re this torch. Let's see what we can find down here. Let me re-equip the shovel as well. Because I have a feeling we're going to need to dig up some more stuff, potentially. I kind of want to keep an eye. <gasps> Yo, mossy key, I found another fucking treasure chest, boy. Now the question is, where is the key? It's a very big question. Also, I'm running out of air. <gasps> a vent. What the fuck? Oh my gosh, the pond! Explore the depths, we found the pond lab. I'm about to drown. I just found the pond lab, but I'm about to drown. How do I get in? This is how I get in? Please tell me there is oxygen in here. It is dark. I cannot see. I am dead. All right, cool. We found the pond lab, but we died immediately. All right, let me try that again. See if we can do it this time. I'm just gonna go straight for it. I'm gonna try and use these air vents now that we know these air vents are here. Hopefully we'll be able to do this. Let me re-equip my actual weapon in case there's anything over here that wants to kill us. So if we just like stay in this. Yeah, look how much faster we're over here already. That's so much faster, dude. What is this? Stuff is not unlocked. So that is currently locked. So if we just like go over this way, I'm just gonna equip this so I can freaking see. Cause I feel like we need to be like super fast about this. I'm out of stanima. I'm curious how fast this thing burns. Cause this thing looks like it might burn like super fast. What is all of this stuff? Oh, it's just food. All right, cool. Well, we don't need food necessarily. We need oxygen right now. Come on, biometrics. Scan my face, please. Tell me there's oxygen around here. <gasps> I found oxygen. We're in the lab. We're legitimately in the lab. Oh my gosh, it's the stuff you need to make a thing. What is this? Do I pull it? Power grid control, pull it! Error, reset breakers. Oh my god, no. Ham's test, day one. 
Initial diagnosis indicates that everything is in working order and ready to bring the Brussels. Oh, I forgot about the Brussels sprouts. I forgot that's the entire point of the pond lab was to freaking create the super few food of Brussels sprouts by growing them really small so they probably take up way less resources to grow and then just making them big. Essentially getting way more food out of it. Uh, Brussels sprouts li live test live testing phase using the automatic hyd automated hydroponic agriculture micro pot 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 potic system or hams i like hams hams is way better i suppose going forward burgle's task of cultivating the biome what the biodome what is that word mycetomer Net, I don't know. Network seems to have not been a complete failure, as signals are detectable in all extremities. Fungal network activity. Surprisingly, uh, harvesting is typically ninety. What? Harvesting is typically ninety days out, but initial tests show small sprouts are already are. What are ready within the span of a week? We'll look to optimize that farther, keeping in mind a certain level of structural integrity is required to scale them up to nearly what to nearly a grapefruit si grapefruit's size. Can't read any of that. Oh my god! Caution! Low voltage. Not high voltage. Each member of the Tolly family, excepting yours truly, looks at Brussels sprouts, the great cabbage of Belgium, with utter disdain. But why? And it's densely packed leaves, a high-powered nutrient boost in a miniature form factor. Ah. And at meal time after meal time, it is ruthlessly cast aside. Well, more for me. The body knows when it's lacking something. Funny that it doesn't tell the mind why, though. But I have taken the hint, and I'll do those brilliant horticulturalists of Belgium one better. You see, these little morsels are a prime candidate for experimentation in my new submersible multifunction lab. A closed-loop system complete with retractable solar dome. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? Dr. Tully, it is almost time for your appointment. Already? Huh. The joys of getting older. Trudy pushed me to go see a doctor after she remarked that I looked like a plate of wet ham. Very well. Mustn't be late and keep Dr. Applebaum waiting. I mean, to be honest, that picture that I saw, you did look really, really bad. Like, extremely bad, my dude. Rotten slime lamp I picked up. I yeah, that picture right there. Apparently it's in more places than one. I picked up a rotten lamp. There's a slime lamp. There's the rotten slime lamp. Well, that one's unanalyzed, so let's not use it until I can analyze it. Get some more real science out of it. But I want to keep exploring, dude. Let's go. Let's see what else is down here. Scale, boatman water, diving chunks. I mean, give me the scales. What's it here? Just a bunch of food and stuff. Was it over this way? That's locked. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to need to do. Well, first, let me save it real quick. And then we'll go back down. I need to go outside. Yeah, there's no way to open that at the moment. So we need to, like, be super, super quick. Unfortunately... I like to explore stuff, so I'm going to have to freaking fight my urges to explore stuff. <gasps> Can I get in there? I can't get in there? Why not? It's broken. I feel like I should be able to get in there. Is this a hatch? It's not a hatch. It is unfortunate for me. My inventory is full, son of a bitch. Uh, is this a root? I'm gonna say that's like a super big root, dude. Can I have more koi fish scales? Thank you. That looked like a sugar cube for a moment. I need to go get some oxygen before we drown. Dude, the pond lab's gonna be kind of frustrating. If we're gonna be 100% honest. But I don't think there's anything 
that I could do really to expand my oxygen capabilities. I have no room in my backpack, why not? Fine, we'll just drop that. That's fine, I don't need it. It's gonna freaking dissipate in like two seconds anyway. Oh, also, let's just eat one of these then. Um, is there any like mutifier to give me more oxygen? Bursting harvest speed, moist. And encyclopedic knowledge on beverage ingredients enriches you. What? You can't resist. What? What does this do? What does moist do? What? You're absolutely and posturous and retain water very well. Oh, it just. It makes me need water less often. Okay, that makes more sense. Honestly, that's probably a good thing to have at the moment. I'm basically just looking for anything poison resistance. That's not going to help us. Anything that might be like super helpful. Ooh, actually, deactivate moist to give us max stamina, a buff lungs, because that's going to allow us to swim faster, faster. So we'll use that for now. Let's go back down. Hopefully we can actually find something. This is a really long way to swim to get out of here, though. If I did not have the flippers, none of this would currently be possible. And I mean that like 100%. Like, none of this would be possible without the flippers. The flippers are invaluable. As is the, ga the oxygen mask. Turn dial. Oh, okay. Those are the things I need to reset. Well, shit. I only really see the one, unless this is a second one here. What are you? Stuff behind glass? All right, cool. How do I get back there? Oh, wait, how do I actually get back there? Maybe through like this pipe? I don't know. I need to go get some oxygen though. And I have a heck of a lot more stamina with this freaking mutifier. Or mute mutation. I keep calling it a mutifier, but that's literally not what it's called. It's a mutation. Which also, what's up with the mutations, dude? Like if we're gonna... My weeble very spoiled. Oh no, how terrible. I kind of expected that to happen. But yeah, what's up with the mutation stuff, dude? I guess that would be my question. Like, what's causing these mutations? Is it the raw science? Is that our third thing that we need to interact with right here? Surrounded by spiders? It sure as shit is. Let me not deal with the spiders. I'm just gonna run away. Can I grab these sunken bones, though? Grab you. This might kill me. Oh shit, that might have actually just killed me. Uh, we might have a slight problem on our hands. We might be dead. Oh, we're 100% dead. I died because I went to go pick up a scale. Lovely. So now the question remains, how do I get in there? Is this something like I can blow up? I'm not worrying about the resources around here at the moment. That's not the concern. I would so much rather get the freaking ship. Because I don't I don't even know what the freaking scales or what the scale armor benefit would be. Actually, it might be something amazing. I have found the way in. By complete and utter accident. I have found the way in. I might drown. Because I don't know how I got in here. Oh. Oh yeah, we might 100% drown. Let's do that. Oh shit, what is this? What? No, keep cutting it. Let me out. Let me out. I'm gonna drown. I'm panicking. Yep, we're dead. 100% dead. Alright, cool. 
All right, since I know where that thing's at this time, let's try this again. It's like all the way over here, which is fucking far, dude. Like really far, which is a really big problem. Like the thing of the f pond lab, like this place is not difficult, but the freaking environment. Oh my God, why can't I? Why couldn't I freaking swim in here? Oh, there's a closer spot. What the fuck? Let me out. No. Swim down. Just swim down, dude. Like Jesus. It's so hard to swim down. Dude, the environment of this area is so dangerous just because you're on a time limit to freaking do stuff and they put stuff so far away. At least we found a second entrance in. Let me not use up that freaking torch if I don't have to. Uh, let's take another drink. Water filtration tablets needed. Unfortunately, we're freaking flying through our water, it seems like. I've already used three. Thankfully, we have two upgraded flasks, so we should be absolutely fine on water, since this seems like the last thing that we really need to do. Let me see if there's another spot that may be broken. What the fuck? Is this how I got in? No. I don't care that my Weeble Rose spoiled. That's not important right now. What's important right now is O2. Very important O2. Let me just do this. And we need to freaking get out of here. Oh my god! Bone dude! Oh. Oh, bone dude. What? Grab it. I don't care what it is. Grab it. I hope I grabbed it all. I don't know what I just grabbed, but I hope I grabbed it all. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, swim down, please, for the love of all that is good in this world. Swim. Swim, my dude. Your life depends on this right now. <sighs> can we make it? If we can make it, I am going to fucking love you. I think we just died. 100% we are dead. So close! Dude, if the pond lab is this freaking adventurous and hard to freaking do just because of the environment, I can only imagine what the haze lab is going to be like. Dude, the haze lab is going to be a freaking nightmare. Because you're going to probably have environments to deal with as well as threats. Thankfully, we're freaking fast and we know what the heck we're doing this time. I have to be like super careful. Let me just grab that. I want that. We'll read that later. I just grabbed those things. I don't even know what they are. We'll turn this on. And we need to freaking move. I'm going to come back for that freaking molar, but we need to freaking move for now. Toxicology badge. Go, go, buddy. What are you doing? Sweet gods. <laughs> this spot is so hard to get out of for some reason. So that is open, the hatch there now. I don't like the sound of that, that sounds terrifying. Please swim, your life depends on this. I think we can make it. Oh yeah, we're fine, we've definitely made it. Look at that, perfect. Get me out of there. Let's just eat that. What did we grab? I grabbed a badge, Toxicology Badge, a badge from the Ominent Scientist, grants access to their specific department of work. How do I use it? Plus gas resistance, plus dust guard, minus poison resistance. Oh, I can equip it? Is it a trinket? <gasps> I dropped it! Don't drop it, you fucking bastard. Oh... Heck yeah, dude. It's a freaking badge. I mean, I'll take it. It's a freaking badge. Can I pull this? Oh, I already pulled it. Power grid connected. Power managed remotely. All right, cool. All right, so now we should go back up since that is unlocked and we can go in there. Is this unlocked? No, that's still locked. I still need to be super quick because I don't know what's on the other side of this. So, we'll go out to the left here and go straight up, see what's up here. Hopefully something good. 
such as oxygen. Okay. Oh, oh, the ground just opens. Press the button. I don't know how I feel about the ground just opening up. <gasps> A broken roll science vat. Did something escape? Locked. Dope. Love to see it. What do we got? We got some raw science. I got the science. We got some locked. Awesome. Love locked. Locked is amazing. It's not. Locked is terrible. It's a muscle sprout. Oh my god, ham test 34, or, oh my god, 36, day 36. Cool, I don't feel like reading that. I'll read that later. But it was there if you guys want to pause the video to read it. The inner workings of a madman's mind. Yes. Love to see that. Ooh. Love to see that as well. That is very useful. Is there anything over here? Or is it just like stuff? Just looks like stuff. What's that? Oh! <gasps> password! And there's a cheap. Okay, so we need some kind of password. I also hear something screaming. Which is absolutely lovely. But I unlocked this, so what's over here? We got a workstation. We got that. We got some bandages. I'm gonna leave the bandages be. Anything over it? Oh! It's the fucking... Cool. So it just unlocked a shortcut, which is fine. I don't know why this shortcut isn't unlocked, but you know what? That's fine as well. Yeah, wait, what? Oh, it's a different spot. Okay, never mind. I had my topography mixed up. So the only way to go now is over here and go swimming. Yes. Down into the deep, dark, briny depths. This looks marginally terrifying. Uh, take that. Is that it? Is that all this was? What? I'm so, oh my fucking god. Is that really all this was? Wait a minute. What? Where do I go? Hold up, there's a spot we're missing somewhere then. Oh my god, there was. Of course, it's the spot that I thought it would have been all along. God fucking damn it, had I just explored around a little bit, took a gander, I would have found it! That's not what I wanted to find. Oh my god, kill it. Oh my god, kill it. Jesus Christ, you scary ass bastard. The cool thing about when you kill those things is they give you oxygen back. Which is super useful. Oh, I had the pat. Never mind. Biodome terminal. Dr. Applebaum has pronounced me in perfect health. For a man 20 years my senior, <laughs> I must face the facts. The gray hairs, the wrinkles, they are not figments of the imagination. I can draw only one reasonable conclusion. It is the elusive fractional errors of the shrinking process which are the cause. Trudy has asked that I discontinue my experiments, but what choice do I have? If I quit now, I will have nothing. What will I be other than a failed inventor and scientist with no discoveries to his name, unable even to teach the basics of physics to a gaggle of hormonal teenagers? No. <laughs> if this means that I must sacrifice 20 years of my life, then so be it. The pursuit of science. Side effects. Honestly, that does make a lot of sense. Like... There's no way shrinking yourself and unshrinking yourself and then re-shrinking yourself and then unre-shrinking yourself has no effects on the body. So it makes perfect sense that it's like aging him way, way fast. Oh, this opened? Wait, what the fuck? Of course this opened. 
So that was the direction that I thought it was. Whoa, 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 the security team is active. Well, hey, guys. Just hanging out. You're making the game lag a little bit. Can you fall into the water? Nope. I was kind of hoping he would have fallen into the water. I forgot that thing opens and closes. Well, now I'm halfway through my water, which is not the best thing. But we're making progress. Ow. Oh my god. You launching electric balls at me again? It's an arc bot. That's a new one. Jesus Christ. Arc bot to be sure. Ow. Give me all your science. Speaking of science, check out that science. Squares and triangles and whatnot. Ooh. I get to analyze. Now I get to analyze this thing. Cool. I didn't expect it to get me anything. I just expected to get me raw science, and obviously, raw science is good. Increasing my brain power. Expanding my wrinkles. Survey. Test day seven. The fishwife's ring. Alright, cool. Sure, why not? Whatever any of that means. Oh, what the hell is this? I don't know, but I want to press all of those buttons. It kind of sucks that I can't press any of the buttons. Did you just... No. Okay, we're good. My inventory is absolutely full, though, which is rather unfortunate. It's a water cooler. I'm curious what's over here. Uh, looks like a way to go into the water. Let me take a gander what is up this stairway here. It's not really stairs, but... You know what I mean. <gasps> it's the muscle sprouts! Oh my fucking god, there's so many! <laughs> Pond dome discovered! Mash some keys! I can't... Oh. Oh! Oh, yo, we opened up the dome. The fish in the background. Well, I already kind of knew about that spot. Oh. But that spot's now open. Lab connected. Dr. Tully must be one heck of an engineer to be able to build something like this. Oh, heck yeah. Dance, Tiny Pete. Dance. Oh, wait, hold up. No, that's not the- how do you emote? Where's it at? 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 Oh, I thought I had a dance one. Oh. <laughs> Why did that make the freaking music stop? What's up with that, dude? <gasps> Pawn Super Chip! And Super Duper Disc! Super du- oh. Duper Disc 2, the data on this contains... The Oak Lab increase the raw science processing limits required for duplicating more complex stuff. This time you've gone too far, Wendell Tully. You've done the unthinkable. Dude, there's so many. Trespassed the unforgivable. You missed Thanksgiving <gasps> dinner. Who can blame Trudy? How could you? I know that I pushed things to the breaking point and that she has grit her teeth and borne it. She told me that she could not bear to watch me destroy my life, let alone hers, the children's, in single-minded pursuit of this technology. Never in all the years of oh. knowing her has she given me such a cold, immovable ultimatum. My science or my family. Ooh. But if only she could see. I am doing this for them. That's a hard decision. I understand it has been hard. It has been harder on no one more than myself. If only I had more time. If I could just prove to them the wonders that are so, so close now, they would understand, wouldn't they? And if they did not, 
Perhaps they never understood me at all. Well, I mean, that's kind of harsh. Like, that's... <laughs> That's kind of harsh to say they never understood you at all, but at the same time, like, dude... That's not what I wanted. Oh god, the game is starting to lag a little bit. With freaking new inputs and stuff. I mean... Like, they asked there is something to be said about, like, pursuing something... ...so hard with your life, but at the same time... If your one pursuit makes you not able to pursue other things as well, it might not necessarily be worth pursuing, especially if it's tearing apart things that other things that you truly care about. Like if it's tearing apart, tearing him apart from his family and he truly, truly cares about his family, it might not actually be worth pursuing as hard as he is. Like he might want to take a step back. Like I could clearly, I could, I could see him putting his research and stuff so far ahead of like anything else that it just drives him away from his family. And that last recording is a perfect example of that. Like he's missing family events and stuff like that. But on a more positive and less heavy note, there's a pile of shit here, and we have a new freaking super duper chip. Um, let me just go ahead. I want to, I want to take some stuff back with me. Hey, Burgle. I got exciting, super exciting news. I got another super chip. How can I, help you today? I got one more super chip. Your survival scout training has proven me wrong. I have survival scout training? How do, how do I have, am I like a cub scout or like a boy scout? I mean, ow, my finger, your freaking metal claw hurts. One more time. Processing. I always despised going down into the pond lab. My spatula hand is not great for swimming. Yes. Thank you for making that journey on my behalf. I could see that since it's got, you know, like openings where the water would go through so you don't get as much of a push. Great memories are coming back. <gasps> what great memories? Well, Tell well, me. Well, well, some good news. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. But not all of it, unfortunately. Oh. And I have some strange memory fragments of a Java Matic. What? Does that mean anything to you? My parents don't let me drink coffee. I mean, drinking coffee for me is a super bad idea with like ADHD and stuff. And I get hyper like super easily. Coffee would make me bounce off the coffee. walls. Coffee. Where's coffee? Ah, that is it. It is Trudy's coffee maker. <gasps> Are we going to use the coffee However, maker? We are making progress solving this mystery, but we are still not done. There is one more super chip to go. Yes. And this one, I have a general idea of where it's going to be. And that is in this area. <laughs> like literally that is just in this area because it is the, whatchamacallit. Oh, I can't think of what it's called. The Haze Lab chip. But what goodies did we get? If we go to the science shop, did we get anything new? A foundation, a foundation ramp, battle buddies. Fire alongside your friends has improved your coordination substantially. Deal and take less damage from friendly fire. Ooh. I mean, I'm playing single player, so that's not really pertinent. But I still kind of want it. Also... Gla grass curved floor. Ooh. Window? What is this? I mean, I'll take it. It's more. It's literally just more stuff to make, uh, like your house and make buildings and foundations and stuff. Tadpole pudding. A veteran diver. Swim speed. Oh my god, dude. That actually would have been useful this whole time. These also all heal. Junior Diver. I'll learn these. I'm running now on some science, but you know what? That's perfectly fine. Should I learn the lures? I kind of want to learn this. To get the thorns. Because the thorn might actually be really good. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. 